Hi, today I want to talk about this uh, movie I saw recently. It's called The Anniversary. I think it's just Anniversary actually. And uh, it's a 2015 Hong Kong romance film directed by Patrick Kong. And uh, it was also the 10th year of Alex Fong and Stephen Steffi Tang's relationship. Here's the cast. Uh, Alex Fong's right here. And uh, Steffi Tang. I thought Alex was pretty good. I mean, in terms of acting, I thought he was pretty good in the movie. Wasn't you know when I first saw it on t TV, I was watching Channel Twenty Six actually, and I saw it turn on. I thought it was like um, a soap opera, just because of the uh, the quality of the uh, video and the the lighting and the camera work. It felt more like a, a Hong Kong soap but it turned out to be I was so I was over at my friend's place having dinner and I, and it, it was on and it was already playing for 30 minutes and I just watched a little bit and I got so drawn in and uh, I could not stop watching it so I tried to watch about an hour of it at their house and then I decided to just figure out get the name and then watch it at home I thought it was gonna be a series of maybe 24 episodes uh, and probably have to find it on some Chinese site but it turned out uh, that's available on YouTube actually and uh, it was only about two hours I think it was maybe two hours and 30 minutes um, anyways I thought it is an amazingly good movie it's uh, I would, in terms of uh, rating it from 0 to 10, I would rate it about 8. And the reasons I liked it were, the cast was good. I liked uh, Alex Fong and Steffi a lot. And I also liked their uh, friends, Louise Chung. And uh, and uh, Lo Loretta Lee was pretty good. You know, the, looking at these photos of them here, they look completely different. Like Lee Le Tong here in the bottom. She was there. She was the mom of uh, Steffi, but I mean, she looks so young here. I mean, this must be an early photo or something, because she looked so much more younger here and much more beautiful. I guess maybe using makeup, they made her look a little bit older in the film. Uh, David Su, gosh, I haven't seen him in so long. He used to be in a lot of these Hong Kong uh, kung fu soaps. So. Uh, that's where I recognize him from, and uh, not just Kung Fu, but he was also in a lot of drama soaps as well. I mean, he's been in the Hong Kong uh, movie industry for quite a while. So in terms of the movie, um, let me see if there are any tra trailer. I mean, here's the trailer. I think that's the trailer. Happy anniversary. That's not it. Um... So anyways, I um, the reviews, I thought the best review was written by uh, Love HK Film. That's one of my favorite sites. Let's see if I can find it here. Um, blah, 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 Fandango, Wikipedia. Where's Love HK? Come on, it's got to be here somewhere. What is this? Let's see. Love HK film. There it is. So here's a good review. Uh, you know the way that um, Steffi, the way the, the the interaction between Steffi and Alex was so realistic, especially when they were fighting. The way she was talking was so mu so much like a bitch. Uh, you know, like someone who, who uh, you 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 recognize people like that in Hong Kong who talk just like that. The expressions, her facial expressions, everything was so like spot on. It was pretty incredible watching her. Uh, I thought she was probably the best actress of the movie. Um. Anyways, but what I didn't realize is that there was an earlier movie that was uh, called Marriage of a Fool in two thousand five. Isn't that weird? Which was, uh, so this is actually a follow up to that, and the actors are the same. 
which is kind of weird, right? It's just like that movie that, um, uh, what's the other movie, the English movie, uh, the American movie, I mean, um, what's the name of it? Before Sunrise and then Before Sunset, um, Link Ladder, I think was the, uh, director. Anyways, it's sort of like that, right? When, where you go and revisit the film many years later and then to catch up with what the, uh, what the, um, people are doing after they marry or after they separate. So anyways, what surprised me was the ending. And I am still not sure about the ending. Uh, what ha what the heck happened? Because at the end, okay, this is a spoiler. So if you don't want to be, uh, if you don't want the spoilers, just stop it right now. But anyways, at the end, you see the, that you see uh, one of his former lovers, I think it's an intern. I'm not even sure if she's a lover, but a former intern that has a kid and the kid has the same peanut allergy as um, Patrick Kong. So now I'm, I mean, Alex Fong, sorry, Alex Fong. Patrick Kong is the director. So I'm like very confused because I'm not sure if that means he, Alex Fong, did he uh, have sex with his intern back then? And and the kid that the the girl that she brought up the interns uh, the daughter of the intern is she is is that the little girl a uh, daughter of uh, Alex Fong? Because that's that's what I'm confused about. It seems like that's the that's what the film is implying when it was showing the little girl having a. Uh, peanut allergy that uh, the same type of al uh, peanut allergy that Alex Fong has in the film. So I'm guessing I'm guessing that maybe that's what happened. And at the end, I mean, he and Al and Steffi gets back together. But then while he went to the bathroom there at the restaurant, he goes to the bathroom and then she picks up his phone and sees a call from that intern saying, you know, I want to buy the house. I mean, there's a house that we want to get. And then my husband likes it as well. So please call me back. So I'm not sure if that's going to reignite this um, jealousy that she has. I don't know what the heck's going on there at the end. I mean, I'm a little confused. I like it. I It's not that I hate the end, but I'm a little confused on what exactly is happening. Anyways, so that's my review. I uh, really liked it a lot. The uh, I mean, I, I don't see a lot of uh, Cantonese films these days. So this is 2015, I guess. It's not really that recent. But uh, it's so great to see uh, Cantonese on the screen. Um, I mean, I don't really speak Cantonese a lot. I just, I could listen to it and understand probably 60-70% of it. But it was so awesome just to see them uh, talk like that on the screen, especially Steffi. I mean, she was, wow, she was like, um, like a tiger girlfriend or something, like a wolf girlfriend, just like, oh my gosh, just devastating in her, uh, complaints and her, uh, uh, scolding of her husband. <laughs> I just feel sorry for the guy. Anyways. Hope you guys enjoy it. I found it on YouTube, so you can actually find it on YouTube as well. I actually watched it on KTSF, but I didn't get to watch all of it, so I, wa I went to YouTube and I found it there as well. So, Anyways, have a great night.